Yeah, I'm trained as a doctor originally, so I realized, although we do basic science, that our findings do have an, and possibly immediate implications in the clinic. So we do try to, and I'm not very, very experienced in this, but we do try to translate our findings with these stem cells as we speak to a situation where we can treat kids uh, with uh, problems in their, uh, in their gut with the technology that we, and the insights we have developed. We started out with studying stem cells in the bone marrow that make blood and make the white cells of the blood. Um, at a certain moment we uh, created a mouse um, by changing a gene that did not have stem cells in the gut. We tried to find people around the world to help us with the analysis of these mice and we found none. So I realized that in this field of gastroenterology research uh, there are very good clinical scientists but there were no basic scientists. That's when I moved my lab from the white cells to the gut. Yeah, the high points in the stem cell field are a few. The first one was the realization that stem cells actually exist. Uh, and probably most of that original work was done in the bone marrow. The stem cells make blood and are now widely used in clinics and saving many, many lives. Uh, a second great breakthrough was the discovery that in early embryos there are very special stem cells, embryonic stem cells, and they are capable of making anything that you want to make out of them. Um, and I guess uh, the third one would be the iPS cell, that uh, the realization you can take any cell from the human body and convert that by a trick into an embryonic stem cell. Yeah, looking back to my own research over the last 25 years, I've learned that we don't use hypotheses. We uh, formulate questions very loosely. Uh, we do experiments, we look, we look, we look, we store everything we see, and then we try to make associations in our brain. And it's like playing a game of memory. You turn a card, look at the card, and all of a sudden you realize, hey, somewhere in my memory there is something stored that resembles this. And then you make a connection, and those are the real discoveries. In the last few years I've learned that uh, just words are often not good enough to convey the ideas that are in your head. Um, I've started collaborating with uh, first with a company in, in the US, then with a small company in, in Holland to try to translate our scientific findings into 3D animation movies. And I found out that originally I used them after I would discuss a subject in my talk to summarize them. Uh, I found they're much more effective if I start showing the concept in the animation movie and then after that show the scientific evidence as we see it in the lab. And then everybody believes it. That's also the danger of using these animation movies, by the way. Yeah, a lot of people um, will mention that we stand on the shoulders of giants. Um, I can name many. Uh, but I would rather uh, mention two people here. First is my chemistry teacher at high school who was selling uh, uh, compounds uh, in his garage from home, which allowed me to see my passion for science and also to blow up a few things along the way. And the second person was my PhD advisor, Rudy Balieu, who was maybe a, a more modest scientist than I am now, but who was actually the person who showed me that trust is, is the most important thing. Trust in yourself, trust, trust in your colleagues, and trust in anybody that you have to deal with within this uh, profession.